Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna do a little chit chat, get ready with me. It's gonna be like a little, I don't know, life update situation, I guess you could say. Um, so I'm gonna do my mic up. I'm gonna talk to y'all about what's going on. As most of you know, it, we have we recently moved, um, so we are in a new house. I'm gonna be honest, I am still unpacking. Um, so that's one of the main reasons I haven't done a house tour yet. I have been asked by several people on Instagram, where's the house tour? And I'm not ready for it. So <laughs> I still have some back, some boxes to unpack, not many. And it's mostly just like the end of the barrel or bottom of the barrel stuff that, um, I don't know about you guys, but like when it gets down to like just the random crap left over I just start throwing it in boxes um so I'm going through all that stuff and finding a home or trashing it which so far it's been about 50 50. also I am priming my face with professional because I got pores for days um and I really oh and I'm also waiting on some stuff to come in the mail and just little stuff, you know how it is. You want your house to be perfect and like all that crap. But I know that even when I do finally film, it's still not gonna be fully how I want it to be. So I'm just gonna have to just grin and bear it and just put something out for you guys. Um, so I'm using this like found brand BB cream. Don't love it. I don't love it. But um, my tried and true, the wet and wild photo finish, it's just a little too thick for summer in my opinion. So I don't like to use it. Um, but yeah, so that's what's going on with the house. Like we're so thankful and so happy to be out of that hell hole. Literally it was a hell hole. Um, I'm just, I'm just very, very thankful to be out of there. So typically I use a beauty blender for my um, foundation, but I have found that with this BB cream, the beauty blender just like sucks it all up. So um, I really don't like to use a beauty blender. Just using this, I don't even know what this is. It's some kind of brush I got in my like Ipsy bag way back when. But anyway, so another thing is that um, our living room, which I really want to get a new couch. This is like a hand-me-down couch that, so we have like a really nice um, couch and oversized chair set. But when we moved from Virginia to South Carolina our couch broke so we used it for about a year broken which is fine it did what it needed to do but we were we knew that if we when we moved again it was just not gonna hold up so we just went ahead and got rid of it um, so our couch here is a hand-me-down couch is a couch that my parents had that they didn't need anymore so they just like let us have it so I hate it, it's uncomfortable, it's ugly. And I just feel like the way this whole living room is set up, like our um, TV being in the corner, I hate that. Ideally, I would like to get a new living room set in the next couple of months. So you guys won't be able to see that in the little house tour video or whatever. That's the goal, so. I am using for eyeshadow the No Bad by Juvius palette. I really like this palette. It's pretty, really pretty. It's like mostly neutrals, but um, and to prime my eyes, I always just use concealer. So, what else is going on? Okay, so how about schools? Let's talk about schools because the whole schooling situation doesn't really affect me, obviously, because my son is two. <laughs> and he doesn't do preschool or anything like that right now. So, and he's obviously not in elementary school or public school, but our county, which I think a lot of the counties in our state and in North Carolina 
are doing this, but they're going one day a week. Um, not really sure why, but I think it's kind of ridiculous to send them one day a week. I feel like there's no right answer and a lot of parents are like definitely in like an uproar about all this, which I would be too. And I'm so thankful that I don't have to make this decision, but I just don't, I guess, really get the whole like one day a week thing. And to me, it's like, if they're gonna get, if they're gonna catch it, they're gonna catch it. Whether it's one day a week, four days a week, five days a week. So I don't really understand, but that's what's going on in my state. What is going on in you guys' state? So I'm gonna do like a little, uh, what's it called? Like a halo eye, I guess. So it's really like a cluster F. And honestly, like no judgment because we don't know like every parent's situation, obviously. Like we don't know like if they have childcare, if they don't have childcare, if they have money to get childcare. So it's like really unfair for any of us to judge the decision that parents are making. So I'm definitely not judging anyone's decision, but I think if I had to make a choice, I would not send my kid back to school. Just cause it's like not worth the risk in, in my opinion, but I also am very lucky that Right now I don't work, I work from home, I guess you could say. And if I needed someone to like help me watch him, like I have my mom or my sisters or um, like friends, family, whatever, that could probably help. So I feel for the parents who have to make that tough decision because I can't imagine, like I cannot imagine. But you know, we just have to know that like, we don't know everyone's situation and we shouldn't judge anyone for what decision they make and I almost also feel like eventually like everyone's gonna get the virus so should we just like rip the band-aid off and just get it over with because it's like kind of delaying the inevitable in some ways um I don't know but that's just like my two cents on it so let's talk about shows <laughs> Only because I just recently started, so I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna, this is um some little cheapy palette that I got at TJ Maxx. Actually, I didn't even buy this. I won, like, won it at a Christmas party. Um, but I just wanna like go into this like brown color. Or actually I'm gonna go down in here in this little brown color. It's called Spatial. But, um, so Matt and I just recently started watching Umbrella Academy and I'm so sad that like I didn't start watching it sooner. Well, I'm not sad because that's kind of a weird way to say it, but I wish we would have started watching it sooner because I want to watch season two because I've heard season two is like really good. And um, I don't know, it's just like such a good show. And if you're not watching it, I highly recommend it because it is like everything I look for in a show. Like it's a little bit mystical and magical, which I love and it's got a really good storyline too. And it's easy to keep up with, like it's not, I mean, there is a little bit of like, wait, what? Okay, sorry about that. Manny woke up from his nap. So I just, he's been waking up from his naps early. He normally takes two hour naps and he's been waking up less than an hour and he's been just a cranky little boy. I think he's either teething or going through a leap or a growth spurt or all, one or all of those things. So yeah, Umbrella Academy is just like a really good show. If you're not watching it, I highly, highly, highly recommend it. It's so good. Um, Matt and I started watching it a couple nights ago and I think we're on episode five or six and it's just a really, really good show. Like it's just, it's super good. So now I'm just gonna go in and just do a little transition situation going on here. I feel like I haven't done my makeup in like, I mean, it's been, it's been a hot minute. It's been weeks probably. Well, no, I guess I did my makeup on Sunday cause we went up to visit my cousin and my aunts, my, my cousins and my aunt, so, You know we don't get to see them that much so it's nice to now that some of like the 
the traveling has been lifted from these states and stuff. Like we feel a little bit more comfortable traveling um, to see like close family and stuff like that. So me and some of my friends are trying to plan a little girls trip for our birthdays because um, we all kind of have birthdays coming up soon and I don't know about you guys but like I am just so sick of being in the house all the time like it is like actually driving me insane because I'm a I'm a pretty social person like with my close friend and family, friends and family, like I'm pretty social. So I like to, you know, make plans and do things and just haven't been able to do that this summer. Like it's so weird that we like haven't gone on a vacation and like we haven't gone to the water parks or to like the local amusement parks. Like we did luckily go to Disney um, right before everything shut down. So I am very thankful for that, but um, I'm just a little stir crazy. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I'm sure a lot of stay at home moms can relate to this and even not stay at home moms. I'm sure a lot of parents period can relate to this, but hopefully it'll all be over pretty soon. So we'll see, we'll see how this, this plays out. Uh, oh yeah, so I'm just using air spun translucent powder this is like my go-to, like a drugstore go-to powder, I guess you could say. So Manny, my son, he has recently like, and I feel like all kids go through this and it's definitely my husband's fault because I didn't introduce him to this, but he started watching like the toy channels on YouTube. So he watches like, <clears throat> it's called like Kinder Spilding, Spilzing, I don't know. It's like some German, I, I think he's German, some German guy. Um, and he like unboxes toys and like demos them. And it's pretty cool. Like he has some really cool like editing styles. And um, it's just funny because now that Manny has started watching that, like he doesn't ever watch like his ride or die tried and trues anymore which is so weird because like he used to love like mickey and like um toy story and like all that stuff and he just couldn't care less now so we we're just watching toys all the time and actually it's funny because i find myself getting like sucked into it so i'm just like staring at the screen So for mascara, I'm just using the Tarte Man Eater Mascara. Um, I actually really like this mascara. So I'm thinking about getting eyelash extensions. Um, never had them before. Never really cared about having them before, but I just feel like when you have them, you just look so put together so quickly. Like you can just throw on some foundation and some blush and you just look so put together and it's like a five minute look and you're like good to go. So I've been thinking about getting them done for my birthday, but I also like don't want to love it so much that I want to keep doing it because that's a very expensive habit and I'm not about that life really. So don't really know. Don't really know. I'm probably going to get it done just because I want to get it done. Um, so, and then for eyebrows, I'm just using the e.l.f. eyebrow pencil. I actually really like this pencil and it's a very affordable. I used to use the NYX um, pencil, which is also very affordable, but I feel like it just ran out so quickly. And for what? $11 a pop 
for it to run out that quickly. I was just like, I think I'm gonna try this. Somebody, I think it was, I can't remember. Somebody suggested this, this eyebrow pencil. So I was like, I'm gonna give it a try. And ever since I tried it, I really like it. What are your tried and true makeup products? Like, what are the products that you always buy, that you always use, no matter what? They're just your ride or dies. Because I feel like I do have some products that are like that, but overall, I'm always down to try new things and try new products and like step outside my normal realm of makeup and products. I was, oh, so, okay, so I have a little story time, which I guess I should have probably started that at the beginning because here we are like 20 minutes into the video. But so like I said, the other night or the other day, we went out of town to go visit some family up in North Carolina. So I live in South Carolina um, and we were like on our way home and the car in front of us got hit in an intersection by someone. So like you know we were going this way and the light was green and like someone ran the red light this way and like slammed into them like right in front of us so my natural reaction was to jump out of the like pull over into the median jump out of the car and go see if i could help and i asked i was like has anyone called 911 yet because like there was other people that had stopped and like no one had called yet so i was like on the phone with the dispatcher and basically they were just like asking me questions and like having me ask the people that were involved in the accident questions and like the guy who calls the accident he was like really out of it and he didn't really have like much communication like he seemed completely dazed from because you know he hit on like head on pretty much so the other vehicle it was like a man and a woman and then a younger a young lady and the woman and the young lady like they were like a mess um they seem to not be injured which was good i mean the lady she did have um i think she like like busted her lip um and then the man who was driving he was i mean he was outside of the car walking around so but one of the things that the dispatcher had me ask um everyone was if they had potentially been exposed to covid and up until that point, I hadn't even thought about it, you know? And I'm like, whoa, whoa, like I'm potentially exposing myself to COVID right now. So I kept my distance though, just because there was like blood and stuff. I did make sure to keep my distance, but um, yeah. So basically the man, the woman and the young lady, they were all like, no, we haven't. And then I went over to the other vehicle and asked that guy, which he had pretty much been unresponsive up until that point but I asked him I said the dispatcher is wanting to know have you potentially been exposed to COVID and he just like turns his head and looks at me and just starts coughing and luckily I was like I mean I was definitely six plus feet away from him but I was just like whoa like what are you doing dude because you haven't even talked to me this whole time or the other guy who stopped to see if they were okay and now you're gonna like look at me and start coughing so I didn't know if he was being like sarcastic or like trying to be funny or if he was like on something or if he just really felt like he needed to cough at that perfect time. But I made sure to get away from that guy and not go back over there. So, um, and then the man in the other vehicle, he asked me to stay and be a witness, um, like to give my witness statement, but I told him, I was like, you know, my son and my husband are in the car. Like, I really can't stay. It was already super late because we hit some traffic coming home. And the whole thing was just, like, so surreal. And it just kind of gave me flashbacks to, like, um, our car accident, which I've never, like, spoken about on my channel um, for a couple of different reasons. Mainly because we were in, like, legal stuff, so I couldn't really talk about it. But, um... I don't know, it was just very overwhelming. Once I got home, I was like, I felt really nauseous and like really like packed full of adrenaline. 
um, to say the least. And it took me a while to like wind down, but yeah, it was pretty crazy. So that's my little story time of what happened um, the other night when we were coming back from North Carolina. And I'm gonna, I guess I'm gonna do my hair. Should I do my hair? Eh. Look at this like curl, like what's going on there? Like I have like naturally wavy hair, but all the color damage has like straightened a lot of it out, but that's, that's really interesting. So yeah, but anyways, um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was kind of weird. <laughs> it was kind of um, all over the place in true Andrea fashion for chit chat videos. I'm always like, woo, you know. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it nonetheless. And if you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for being my kind of weird. Bye.